In this episode, I'm going plant shopping at Cactus Club. They are my go-to spot for rare and uncommon plants. I have not been there in forever. And I wanted to go in not just to shop, but also chat with Ivy and Anna about a giveaway that we're doing for the beginning of spring. I'm also stopping by Dollar Tree. I went in there the other day and they had all of their spring gardening supplies out and I was blown away. Everything there is a dollar. So it's time for me to go and pick up some of my Dollar Tree spring supplies. Um, I'll do a haul at the end of the video so I'm planning to pick up a few cool plants from Cactus Club and lots of nice gardening supplies from Dollar Tree so I hope you guys enjoy this episode if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Ashley and we're all crazy plant people here so if that's the kind of energy you are into make sure to subscribe um, I post once or twice a week always good plant content and we also have a really great uh, plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. Now with Cactus Club, we're giving away two plants and we're doing the giveaway on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, check out my Instagram and also Cactus Club's Instagram. Now, always be careful. We'll never ask for any of your personal information or ask you to click on a link if you do end up doing the giveaway. Uh, the last time I did a giveaway, people were creating all sorts of fake Instagram accounts claiming to be doing my giveaway. So just be aware that that um, happens with Instagram giveaways. But if you do participate, the best of luck. And thank you for, um, you know, being part of our plant journey. It means a lot. You guys are amazing. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Sit back, relax. And again, the haul is at the end of the video. Enjoy. So I timed it with Cactus Club to arrive as soon as they got back from a trip so I could share some of the really cool plants that they have. Now they always have, in my opinion, the best selection of rare and uncommon plants um, in the Charlotte area. Uh, Frog Daddy also has some really good stuff and you know there's also an assortment of common plants. Um, but I'm always really impressed and there's always a really nice selection. Everything's hand-picked and um, they specifically pick out the ones that they see look good. They drive to their growers um, every couple weeks and hand-pick them and then drive back. So it looks like they found some really great stuff. I'm excited to go through and share. I'll be sharing prices as I see them and kind of just listing it off. And then hopefully I can find a little something for myself as well today. Um, I see some good stuff. They have some really cool Schistemaglottis here. Okay. This is Schistemaglottis Thailand and it is 48. Look at these leaves. And there's Schistemaglottis Wally Kai. 48, so healthy, so beautiful. Some pretty calatheas down here. We have some fuzzy petiole philodendrons. They are 38. Uh, the one that I got from here is growing like mad. Such an easy plant. Look at these Florida greens. They are 140. Look how massive these are. Now I love the shape of these leaves. Look at that new, newest leaf. Absolutely beautiful, so healthy. There's Hilo Beauty and Stingray Alocasias. As you know, they're called Stingray because they look like Stingray with the little tail. And these Hilo Beauties are so gorgeous. Wow, look at this Stingray. So lovely. They also have Xanthosomas, 52. They're really big. There's a Euphorbia lactea or white ghost cactus over here, 136. There's a few of those in the store. Look how stunning this huge Mexicanum is. <laughs> this is the thing with Cactus Club. I, they just always have some really nice large size plants, mature plants that just take years and years and years to get to that size. Um, 
and they are 175 or this one is 175 so beautiful another large philodendron a painted lady i love mine i will say it is a great grower super easy and the leaves are just so stunning um, with the like mottled color there and the pink stems are what really sold me on this plant so cool this large painted lady is 285 Some nice size Monstera Peru here on a moss pole, 128. Then there's an Epipremnum amplissimum. And I don't hear this one spoken about very often, but it is such a beautiful plant. I'm surprised that not everyone talks about it all the time because it's an Epipremnum, which is a great easy care plant, similar to Pothos. And then this one has these really elongated leaves, which is stunning. And then to top it off, there's also silver stripes on the leaves. I have one of these, it grows like crazy. They like to vine, they like to climb. Absolutely lovely. This one is 90 and it has multiple plants in there too, which is always really nice. Up here, there's a Mykins. They have silver dollar vines now. This is the only shop in Charlotte that I've ever seen silver dollar vine. They're very succulenty, so they require next to nothing. A really great plant. And there's a Peperomia Hope. It looks very much like a silver dollar vine, but it's different. Also a nice easy care plant. They have some beautiful Hoyas that they found. Many of them are flowering, which is so cool to see. Look at these flowers on here. This one's Poopy Calyx. I love the purple flowers that does smell nice. And they have a Hoya Elliptica here. It's 140, they have a few of those. I mean, look at these leaves recently filmed a houseplant tour that I'm working on editing. It's a collection of um, a lady called Cass that lives in the Charlotte area. And her, Hoya, she has over 120 something Hoyas. And seeing her collection, guys, it's kind of made me like, oh, back on the Hoyas, cause they're such cool plants. There's some Brantianums here, $30. Very fast growing, easy care plant. Wow, they have a pink princess here. It is 88. Looks like there's some new growth happening there, which is pretty cool. Um, Jewel Orchid, Ludicia Discolor, 24. Large size. I love these plants, they're so pretty. Then there are some begonia varieties, some cane begonias. Such a great plant. Mine got kind of leggy, my maculata did. And so I chopped it down, there were no leaves left. And do you know, it's come back full force and it's bushy now. So <laughs> really cool plant. I was also just told that these are a new hybrid that has come out from a lady um, called Harmony. I'll put her Instagram here and she's quite famous in the begonia uh, world. These are angel wing begonia allure and she'll make special hybrids of uh, angel wing begonias and rex begonias. So this is a new hybrid that Jesus put out, which is really exciting. I've actually purchased quite a few from Cactus Club that are hers. Uh, these are 1650. Some Squamiferum here. They are 40. Such a great philodendron. And they have the fuzzy stems, which we all love. And there are some variegated whale fins. Wow, look at these. Dang, those are so nice. 105. Then here's a regular whale fin. $50 and there's two in there that you could split up if you wanted to. Some more Hoya, Hoya Bertsene, 80. I like how they're on the trellises. Now I was looking at this guy, it's pretty cool. It's a Monstera Dubia, but it's a green form. I have not seen that before. I don't think 120. And there is a uh, Monstera Dubia, like the kind we're used to seeing and it is 90. Look at those shimmery leaves. Philodendron Dark Lord, 158. Absolutely beautiful, great, great plant. 
Here's another Epipremnum Amplissimum. This one is 90. Dang, look at all those <laughs> leaves. That is a healthy plant. Beautiful. Down here is a Hoya Parasitica. Oh, 32. Gosh, do you know that's tempting? Look at these leaves. Amazing. Some Hoya Australis, they are 38. Hoya Sunrise. My Hoya Sunrise, can I just say, it grows so fast. My, it's just like, it's been one of my best Hoyas to propagate. It's been one of my fastest growing Hoyas. When you give them a lot of sun, they turn bright pink. So I 10 out of 10 recommend a, uh, a Hoya Sunrise. It's a good investment. And they have painted ladies here, the smaller ones. These are 58. And Monstera Pinati Partita, 45. These get really nice fenestrations. They're, they look similar to the Peru, but the leaves are a little bit longer shaped. And like I said, they, they fenestrate, uh, I think, more quickly than the Perus do. Cactus Club has these two plants that are not for sale, but they're also creations of harmony. And um, look at the shape of these. I've never seen begonias shaped like this. They're called Harmony's Bird of Prey. And I just, they're so nice. Like, let me show you guys. Because look at the shape of these leaves. This is definitely going on the old, on the old wish list. Wow, that is amazing. Like, they're very much you know, like your typical cane angel wing begonia, but they have this kind of shape on each of the leaves just on the outside. That's so nice. Up here is a really huge bipinifolium, so beautiful. They have a war, <laughs> I call it philodendron W, I have one of these in my collection, war I can never pronounce it. Um, Hoya linearis, $30 there, and a potatum. I think these big ones aren't for sale, but so beautiful. And then this looks like a dark lord or a red queen or something like that. I was really excited about this one. It's a cool hybrid that I haven't seen before. It's a Bietier hybrid, as you can see here. Um, I just love the shape of these leaves. I mean, those are two perfect plants to create a hybrid of. They, they kind of just seem like they would go together. And here's another Hoya that is blooming. It's Hoya Croyana Splash, uh, it's $75. Look at the beautiful flowers on there. I love the shape of these types of uh, Hoyas. And they come in a variety of splash and silver and white and Eskimo, this Cro Croyana does. And there are some dragons here. Looks like these are Philodendron Green Dragon. I love the shape of these leaves. Uh, again, it's called dragon or green dragon or golden dragon for the shape of the leaves looking like a dragon. Now, look, they have some Anthurium vecchii, such an amazing plant, also known as the king Anthurium, as they are 148. And the larger they get, the longer the leaves get, and the longer and bigger these leaves get the more ribbing they get on there. And I will say I saw some mature form of these at the Daniel's Toe Botanical Gardens and I was blown away. So these are actually pretty nice sized ones for that rate for the Charlotte area. Then coming into Gloriosums, oh, looks like this one over here is on sale for 130 or uh, its price is 130. And there are also some, these look like McDowell's. They're 160. So I will say, in my experience with my McDowell and my Gloriosums, fast growing, always putting out new growth, does well with, uh, you know, I'm an underwaterer, so it, you know, uh, does well with that. Really big fan of both of these philodendrons. Look at this Monstera, looks like a Peru, so beautiful. Here we have a Bob C. Now, if I got a Bob C, I think I would get one that was at least this big because, you know, it just has a different, it just has a different look when you have these mature leaves on there. It reminds me of a saw and it has new growth coming here. This one is 110. 
Then we have some more Monstera Pini, Piniti Partita and Philodendron 69686. And the 69686 that I have, it grows like crazy. It has put up with a lot from me. Um, so do recommend. Now I did have one of these and it could not handle my lack of watering. So it's the same word as I, on the philodendron that I can't pronounce, or shawesii. And these are $12. I mean, they are such, you know, I thought it would be like a Calathea zebrina, and it probably is, but my Calathea zebrina seems to be able to handle my watering schedule a little bit better than this guy did. Very, very velvety, dark green leaves. And then underneath has the gorgeous red and, oh, I just love this plant so much. This was one of the ones that uh, I've thought about adding it back because maybe I'll give it another go. Just beautiful. They always have some great cacti. True to their name, Cactus Club, of course, always has really nice ass assortment of cacti, small ones, big ones. Um, these small ones here are 550 and the Larger ones vary. These are 38 for these Apuntia. The variegated Apuntia is um, 48. I also really like the pottery that they have here. So lovely, here's some more larger size cacti. Here's Maverick Farragata, Nalactia. Just really nice assortment. Then we have some of these really cool Rex begonias. This one is called Crazy Love. Again, these are Harmony creations, I believe. And this one is called Fireworks. They are both $12. And uh, Skin Daps is picked to silver satin here, 12. There are some Peperomias here that are from Harmony. These are called Gold Dust. I have one of these, it does really well. Ooh, all right, here we go. Peperomia, oh, sorry, yeah, Peperomia beetle. Now I've lately been kind of getting more into Peperomias, and so I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty tempting. $14, I love how they look like a beetle or a little bit like watermelons, so that's a maybe. Then we have some silver swords here, $17, and some mini watermelon peperomias. They are $12. Cool Hoyas, Hoya Beauty, $40. I haven't seen that kind before. That's really interesting. Then we have some Alocasias here, $12.50. Some black velvets. Um, four inch Hoya Crohiana Splash, $35. I just can't get over the beautiful petite leaves and the silver splash on there, gorgeous. Couple different uh, Raphidophora here, a Cryptantha and a Hai. Ooh, they have some fishtail Hoyas or Polyneuras. They are 58. I will say mine is a very fast grower. <laughs> this one and my Hoya Sunrise, putting out new growth all the time. Um, I wasn't expecting in that, but they're doing great. Hoya Pubicalyx, 15. Also, I mean, like, needs nothing from me. Hoya obovada, $16.50. Then we have a Compacta and a Shepardii back there. So really nice assortment of Hoyas here today. They have some plumosa cactus here, which are some of my favorites. They're really fuzzy. They look like little snowballs. $6.50, so cute. All 
All right, so I've stopped by Dollar Tree to see what kind of stuff they have in their gardening section. In the springtime, they always put out some really um, surprisingly nice gardening stuff, and a lot of it can be used for houseplant things. So I noticed this last year, and I just want to take a quick peek. Everything in this shop is a dollar. Gardening gloves here, a whole variety of colors. They have these little solar panel lights and uh, it, this one has a butterfly in it that its wings flap. How cute would be, that be to like put in one of your plants or outside? They have a load of cute little hanging decorations. Oh, look at this little flower pot hugger. <laughs> it's a little gnome guy. That's adorable. Ooh, I love these. These are great for um, air plants or you could make a little terrarium. They have a whole section here with rocks. Um, I'll show that because uh, this is their little rock section is nice. You can put some rocks in there. I have one um, that I have an air plant in. What's down here? Oh my gosh, they have little planters. <laughs> oh my goodness, for a dollar? Yes, please. They have a deer one. And they have a little squirrel one. Look at that cute little squirrel. I love it. Some citronella sticks. They also have bulbs for, um, you know, outdoor and some um, hose nozzles. Seeds. You know, I've tried to do the wild flower seeds before outside and I've never been able to get the hang of it, but I love it when people have, you know, their wild flowers outside. Oh, look, here's a bunch more wild flowers. They have these little planters. You get three for a dollar. Interesting, they're plastic. Looks like they have fertilizer spikes. I don't know if these are any good or not. They said for beautiful house plants. They have some more planters. These are all a dollar, and it looks like they have saucers in the bottom, which is nice. Ooh, these are great nursery pots. This is a four inch pot, and you get six of them. And this one looks like a two, two and a half inch. And you get a ton of these, I don't know, maybe 10. They have these little seed starting greenhouses, and these are great for propagations. A little sphagnum moss or soil. They also have really cute terracotta pots, three, three for a dollar. I love it when they have their gardening stuff. Now they really only do this in the springtime. Um, so it's good to kind of get out early and, and pick up what you like when you can. There's some more little planters down there. Lots of cute little figurines. You know, if you have a terrarium, something like this, like a little fairy house. It's nice they have this, you know, for a dollar, because sometimes if you're making a little cute fairy terrarium, these can get kind of pricey. Look at this little well with the little leaf on it. Oh my gosh. They have some seed starting potting mix. And these large planters down here are also, you know, they're just a dollar. Then they have some cute cover pots. Hummingbird. Now they do have some really helpful gardening tools here. Trowels, little shovels. Um, I forget what this is called. <laughs> Cultivator. I bought some last year and they work great. Okay, these are my favorites to buy from here. You can get a pack of these. I don't know, there's maybe six in there. This is six inch, they have eight inch, they have 10 inch. Normally just one of these from Home Depot or Lowe's is, a, is a, at least a dollar or two. So to be able to get a whole pack of these. Now they are a little bit flimsier than the ones that you'll get at Home Depot, Home Depot or Lowe's, but that's okay. We don't really mind to have flimsy saucers because we're just putting our planter in it anyways. This is a neat watering can. Well, I like that for a dollar. Some more planters over there. What is this? This one's a nice saucer. Okay, this one is a little more heavy duty and it is a dollar. There are some hanging baskets. Some more 
planters, hummingbird stuff, little decor. They have plant clips. This is cool. They have some more of these cute pot huggers. They have ladybug, owl, little turtle over there. Really cute stuff. I wanted to point out a few more sections that are year round at, at Dollar Tree. They have a lot of nice glassware for Dollar if you want to use it for propagations or you know, grow your plants in water or something. They have some really nice, some really nice options here. They have these domes, which I just saw. It's always worth checking out this arts and crafts section because you can find some really good stuff. Look, they have little planters, <laughs> you know, seal and a polar bear, one adorable. Now these they have them set up here uh, to put lights in, but these would make a great little plant terrarium for say a begonia or something that needs higher humidity. I mean, a dollar, fabulous. Down here are some really cool trellises, perfect for hoyas and vining plants. Then here are the rock, the rock section, as I said. There's white rocks over here and marbles. And these are a stack of planters, some more glassware, lots of nice stuff. They also have a lot more glassware in their, you know, glasses section. Look at these cute little cups. They have a little cactus plant on there and it says, can't touch this. That's adorable. <laughs> But if you want to do propagations and stuff like that, they, they have a lot here. Actually, these are really nice for like organizing stuff in your kitchen. Side note from plants. A dollar? You would never know. These things are so expensive usually at like home goods. Hmm, $14.99 or $10. Wow, that's a good find. Another one of my favorite Dollar Tree finds for planty things are the little box boxes, I guess Tupperware type stuff over here. There's also spray bottles if you want to make your own pest um, repellent or water for misting your plants. They ha just have all sorts of stuff here. It's worth checking out. I also didn't notice before they have these little mini trellises. It's called, it says it's a wreath ring, which so you can make a wreath on there, but you could also make, make it, turn it into a trellis. And that comes with two. I love it. And then they have uh, this really pretty twine. If you wanted to turn a plant into a hanging basket, you could use this twine, you know, give it kind of that little extra something. They have some good stuff today. I'm excited to get a few things. How amazing was that? Cactus Club was completely packed. I coordinated it to when they came back from their plant shopping trip. So that was really neat to see. I did pick out a few plants and Dollar Tree, oh my gosh, I got so much stuff and it, the total came to like 20 bucks and I got so much stuff. So I'm going to share my haul. First up, the plants I chose. I could not resist this Hoya Parasitica black margin oh my gosh it was 32 dollars now i know that's not very inexpensive for a plant but for a hoya parasitica black margin compared to what it used to be and now i know plant prices are going down but amazing now let's talk a little bit about it um the leaves have a really neat I don't know what you'd call it, indentations or texture. Uh, the shape of them is amazing. Um, it's called black margin because it does get black around the outside of the leaves. There are numerous plants in this planter. One, two, I mean, three, four. There's a lot of plants. Now I chose this one because it has these really great trails, which means that first with Hoyos, they put out their, I don't know, Kind of reaching vines and then they put leaves on the reaching vines so if you're trying to pick out a hoya i recommend grabbing one that has these little guys coming off because it just means it's healthy and it's putting out new growth but um these have really nice thick succulenty leaves and they're nice sized leaves so typically those they enjoy just a good drink 
being dried out and then another really good drink and I like to bottom water it so the soil kind of soaks up as much moisture as it needs. But on to the next plant that I got, which is this beautiful Peperomia beetle. It was $14 and look how lush it is. Now I've started getting more into peperomias. I've been having a lot of success with um, some of the ones that I have. And I have to say I treat, I've been treating them kind of like Hoyas. Like I let them dry out a little bit and then I water them. I always thought peperomias needed a lot more water and they'll kind of start to droop a little bit when they get thirsty and then I give it a good watering. I didn't realize they I mean, I don't know if that's the case with all peperomias, um, but I'm down with that kind of plant care. That's definitely my, uh, my vibe. So these are called peperomia beetle, and you can see why, because the leaves look kind of beetly. I love how this peperomia is just wild and free, and I'm hoping it'll just like continue to trail. I'll probably put it in a little cute cover pot or basket, and maybe let it hang, so then it'll just like put some of these little you know trails down and I just thought this was the coolest thing ever it reminds me of watermelon too I thought it might be a dishidia but no it's a uh, peperomia beetle I'm all about it I I love the common names for plants too because it's usually a fun description of the plant itself and the leaves are just like I love the lines on them I love the shape of them I love that they're small and petite I'm into it I'm into it. So let me now go into all of the stuff I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Whew, it's a lot. I got one bag. I got two bags. And as you can see, they are packed. So they had a lot of stuff. I got this little organizer to organize some of my plant stuff. Everything was a dollar. So I just thought that was actually would be really nice to put some of my plant stuff in there. Most of you guys already know Claire, but um, she's feeling pretty needy today. So I thought you could film with me. Oh, okay. I'm oh, doing a little bit of crazy eyes, but all right. Next up, I got a ton of these saucers. These are the best deal ever. Yeah, I know. Um, this has a pack of four for eight inch saucers. They're flimsy, which to me, I don't mind if they're flimsy. I'd rather not pay like $2 for one of these when I can get four for a dollar. And I got all different sizes of them. So the pack of, this one has a pack of six for the six inch. This one had a pack of four for the eight inch. And then the 10 inch had three in each. So I'm set. I am set, set, set with these. I also, oh, sorry baby. I also picked up some of these. Um, these are great nursery pots. If I'm, you know, if I've been propagating, I just find they're really easy. I prefer the clear orchid pots, but I figured I'd pick up some of these while I was out. They have a lot of drainage, which is nice. And I mean, there's a lot in here, maybe 12 in this little two and a half, three inch planter. And then this is like a four or five inch planter. And this one has six in there. So fabulous. Where else can you find that for a dollar? Oh, and I didn't film this because I didn't see them when I was filming, but they had in the gardening section, they had these really cute plant labels. This is a pack of 10 and I thought maybe for some of my Hoyas or my plants downstairs uh, where people see them, I'd maybe write the name of the plants in here on here and then they people can see what the plant is called because they all know I'm a planty planty lady. So I just thought these were cute. I might go back and get some more of these. Picked up some lighters for my candles, a dollar, can't go wrong. Ooh, I got one of these. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe put, uh, I might propagate my Begonia Amphioxus because it is going crazy. And um, maybe I can propagate it and put it in this and see how it does. Or maybe a jewel orchid, I'll put one of my jewel orchids in here. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I like it does have a little hole. So it gets a little bit of air in there. Uh, a dollar for a cute little cloche and it looks nice. You know, it doesn't look like it costs a dollar. Next up, of course, I had to grab a couple of the cute little animal planters. I might go back and get some more, I don't know, but let me show you the ones that I got. This one's name is 
Stanley. And I picked up Pepper while I was there. Of course, I had to get the cute little puffin. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. All right, so Stanley and Pepper, my little babies, can go over here. And I picked up a couple of these terracotta pots. Now, some of my cacti are putting off little pups, and I thought I might try propagating some of the cacti that are doing that. So these little terracotta pots are perfect for that. And I have the Repot Me um, cacti and succulent soil, so I'll give it a go, see what happens. What else did I, oh, I also got the a little, of course I had to get a flower pot hugger and I got the ladybug one, of course, because I'm obsessed with ladybugs and I have them all in my plant room all the time. So cute, so I'll just hang them on the side of one of my pots. And I also got some batteries because a huge pack of four dollars is pretty good. Now don't forget that I have the giveaway with Cactus Club going on. We have two plants, two really cool plants that we are giving away for the beginning of spring and celebration. And as a huge thank you to all of you guys, we're doing it on our Instagram. So here is all of our Instagram information. I will also include the dates that we're doing it uh, in my description below. And please be aware that on Instagram, the last time I did this, people started scamming and creating fake accounts and know that we will never ask for your personal information with the giveaway or ask you to click on a link. I hope everyone has an absolute blast with the giveaway and the best of luck to you all. If you'd like to see future episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And we also have an amazing plant community on Instagram. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.